So, welcome to Red Jupiter Gaming. Let me just deal with the welcoming committee. No touching. No. Dinner first. Oh, rude. There we go. Right. So, we're next to a cell tower. Not to get 5G reception. I want to have a look around the map and see what there is. We'll loot this first, though. More health meds. Certainly never hurts. Let's get that cardio going. Do you love what they do with the uh, sky? Anyway, let's focus. Ooh, 9mm bullets will have you, thank you very much. So, there's our house. There's a billboard we can look at another time. Hmm, that could be our next outpost. Mm, yeah, I'm good, thank you on that. Ah, gun shop was looking for you. Look at the old shed. Yeah. House. So, the ones that are red indicate that there is a plague heart nearby. The ones that are black outlined I can claim as an outpost. Yeah, nothing more to see here. Right. So let us claim the gun shop. The bit that always fills me with a little bit of dread in this game is stepping onto ladders. Sometimes it's a little bit iffy on that. Alright, let's head over there. Perfect window. That's how much noise they make bashing against the wall. Ah, sherbet. Here comes the fuck up cascade. So let's back off a second. I believe some thank yous are in order. Limber up, do a little bit of uh the gun, yep. Ah, ah. Two very poor shots, if I say so myself. Alright, let's have a moment to breathe. Alright, fine. Have a healthy snack. Heavy weapons are devastating against mobs. If you can make sure they don't run out of stamina. You never know. Might find a toolbox in here. Wouldn't hold your breath on that. But you never know. Eh, the parts can be made towards a toolbox eventually. Oop, slip, and... That's easier to do if you're not being mobbed. Oh, it's promising in here. Well, that was a bit shonky on my part. I should have spotted that screamer. Hmm. 
Got nothing to fire 50 cal through, but uh, interesting. Sweet. You could use this. Definitely. Okay, let's have a small upgrade then. Do I have enough points to make this a base? No, not quite. Alright, you can go in there, and you can go in there. Probably that. We're not going to find I suspect we're not going to find any 50 cal. Uh, is that a bloater I saw over there? Let's pick up the matching ammunition for that rifle. There we go. Seriously, that's it. Now where is that bag of ammunition? Ah. It's gonna be up to my ass and sets real soon. So I get for being impatient, and we've filled up our pack anyway. Lots of nine mil. They love nine mil around here. Yeah, still a couple of meat bags hanging around. Oh, they're hitting the door. Rude. The outpost here will really help us fight the fucking zombies. It would, but we ain't got the points for it just yet. Something we will sort out in a moment. Hoping this is going to be the bag of ammunition. Yes! There we go. I ain't got any space for anything else, so I'm going to not search this final container. Even though might be more, more 9mm ammunition. But I have memory like a sieve. So, let's head back up top. There is a shortcut. Where is it? There's a shortcut around here somewhere for walking. But let's not mess around in the dark. This is probably the long way around as well. Let's go the other way. Ah, there it is. I knew there was a shortcut somewhere. Can't get a car up there, but... I can empty the car. Same a whole lot of fuel. Ah, sod it. Careful, don't breathe any of that! Let's get some ammunition and make everyone a little bit happier. Okay, you and you and you and you and you. We'll go pick up the Uzi on the downstairs. Or actually. Oh, they're all injured. That was exactly good management, was it? If I leave you up here with that, and I'll select you. Then you can head to the car and pick up the Uzi and equip it immediately. And give the other guy a bit of a rest. Uh, yeah, have him another bandage. Now, I believe I saw a medical outpost or medical supplier. There we are, abandoned clinic. Uh, 
Is that a screen with the other side of the car? Why, yes it is. Sneaky. Hooray, more standing. Take you up, or rat it. There we go. And as you look back to the car. There we go. I do need to f ponder something. Let us have a look at our base. Let's put in the handgun press. And I can't quite upgrade you because I haven't got enough chemicals. That's rude. So do I want a garden to improve food production? A little bit. That'd be a good idea. I haven't got any water. Oh no, that's definitely a drive away time. That's unfortunate. Okay. Let's keep going. Hopefully they'll run after the car. While I then loop around the back. Yes, no, maybe. Hmm, that's bothersome. Are you going to move? Or are you just going to stand there gurgling to each other? Having a zombie conference. Alright, fine. Okay, plan B. We'll just go through the front door then. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, a later development of this game are hordes. That create infestations. So I've got one there, and this one's now going to go off to infest another building. Get too many infestations, everyone gets grumpy. I'm sad. Oh, come, come on. Alright. Side window we can jump through. That might be the plan. There we go. Head of steel. Ethanol, thank you. Nah, no, I did hear it. I was kind of hoping that the sound of breaking glass would be less of a draw than booting a door open. Although, by the looks of it, they're still just lurking outside. They're not actually trying to get in yet. Haha. -ha. Let's loot this place the best we can. Ooh, which reminds me, as I've got a second. 
I know we're doing a task still. I'm still on the press. Looking good. No more Zeds here. And one more container. So over there. Oh, I think our time is up. Well, I guess that's all there is here. Time to go. Although the good news is, as they're hammering the door there, they're bringing all the zombies over there and away from the car that I abandoned. Sorry to disappoint you, no one there. Alright, let's park the car. And yes, that is an exciting new feature in inverted commas. It seems to be a little bit of a bug. Or an intended feature that's going to be updated in a later version of this game. Whereby you seem to have a big party hang out outside your base. That's why if you are going to loot the base right at the beginning of buildings around the base it's a good idea to do it early. Early as possible. Oop, no, that was a rock. Don't do that. How fast is that icon moving? Nope, that's fine. If you see a... Um, horde icon moving quickly behind you. That means it's three ferals. Right, let's drop off these meds. Make everyone happy. There we go. Okay. Let's go find the bounty broker. Actually, no. Correction. Let's go to the cure of all for all seasons, which is there. Oh, no. Let's make sure. There's, always make sure there's fuel in the car. Nothing is more embarrassing and death-inducing as running out of petrol next to a horde. Especially if the horde is three ferals. Yep, it is actually... Ah, Sherbet took the corner wrong. There you go. Actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Let's not think too hard about that. Unfortunately, in my excitement in trying to get rid of the feral, I did run over a load of zombies. Which probably didn't help the longevity of my car. Right, so let's pick up this quest. Uh -oh. This plague zombie over there. You don't so. so. This is a plague zombie. Color coded for your convenience. Hey. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Those things basically infect their whole environment. It's fucking nasty. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. You'd better gear up before you get started on this one. Well, the Having good news like this is, a good way to make friends. is the bounty broker 
It was right in an area. We could use our eyes out here. Yep. Because allies give you helpful things. Like um, extra labour or more XP or more ammunition. All sorts of fun, fun things to help keep you alive. And that's not exactly a great angle I've taken. Change your plan. As this car is not a 4x4 or in the greatest of Nick, let's find the road. Ah, and also because I'm blind and <coughs> driving to rocks apparently. Yeah. Moving on. Avoid the barriers, please. There we go. Yeah, driving over zombies, fun, but we'll destroy your car eventually. It's fun, though. There we go this way. Oop, no, missed my, corn, missed my, my turn. There we go. Good news is driving through fences won't do damage to your car. Although I want to know who the mysterious person is who keeps turning around or turning up and repairing all the fences. And here he is, the bounty broker. Oh, you are having a giraffe. Okay, no, I bought. That's a juggernaut. They will give you a very bad day. Ooh, what's this car? Oh, a Desperado. There's a conga line of zombies coming towards me. But that won't last here in plague territory. So Desperados. You can upgrade those to make the troll blazer. Not troll blazer. Ooh, I have you though. Okay, this is a stupid idea. I will preface this now. I shot you. That was rude. There you go. Second time lucky. Need to finish it. Uh, no, no Let's chance. Yes, you can. Oh, and, and we've acquired a little bit of plague. When that bar gets to the red skull. Okay. Let's just quietly move out of the way. If you suddenly move out of the way and get out of sight, they will forget about you.
Okay, so we got rid of the screamer. So that's good. Now, how am I going to clear these eight remaining zombies? Preferably without dying. Okay. Let me go in here like this. Oh, no. You don't get to turn around. That's just oh, nuts. Hmm. I went better than expected. And yes, I did kill three, but only one went down the counter. That's because you can actually drag other zombies into the fight. This is why grenades are a bad idea. There's one. I'm hoping I'm going to drop some plague samples in a moment as well. Ah, nuts. There you go. There's a plague sample. Thank you. He won't give me on. He's not a plague zombie. He's just a good old-fashioned zombie. Now, the only other problem is... So, the counter says three. But they're not here. So, they might have run off the other group. Sometimes, it's also worth just checking the, the vicinity. Because they might be hiding behind that wall. There they are. Check this job is complete. Nuts. Hmm. I'm so obsessed with that bin. Nice. There we go. Plus ten. And people should be less unhappy with the world. that food depot. I think that's a food depot. Let's raid it for some food while we're at it. As we're, you know, taking the time to clear it out. Thank you. We'll leave the rest for now. That should basically go on my inventory. Yeah. Now, do you reckon that the juggernaut has cleared off. I don't know what sort of deal Cash Beaumont has with the zombies, but they never bother him. He's probably absolutely covered in head to toe with um oh there's a a zombie plague sample derivative. Zomcent I think it's called that uh, hide you from the zombies. You must be like showering head toe and that stuff. Right, we will come back later. Well, that's just rude. Fine, go hide then. Keep that on you. Let's repair this so it's less likely to go boom. I wonder what makes plague zombies cluster in these areas. Nope, you're still there. That's just rude.
jugs have got very good perception. Ah, oh, great, that's a feral. Over there. Marvellous. So, I would at this point take great pains in going explaining about the bounties and all the rest of it. And uh, But do you know what? Greetings. We're just going to do sure this. One of these bounties is right for you. <sighs> this is a lot of stuff to carry. And we're just going to leave quite quietly. We can look at what things we just collected in a moment. Hmm. Yes, um, the Juggernauts will quite happily walk over any uh, attendant zombies that are with them. I don't know if they do any damage. That's an interesting question. Okay. We're doing all right, he says. I spotted a plague bloater. Okay. I hear something gurgling in my ear then. I might as well pick up that sample while we're at it as well. Do you need samples to make plague cure? And we haven't got any right now. Which way am I going? Left and around the road. The shortcut road. Yep, avoid you. That's nice. We can see where we're going. We have got um, big clouds of steam in front of us wherever we go. Take a nice and easy. This is not a rally course. Don't want to ha don't want that to happen to us. Feel not great. So the Royale is a very average car. The best car you can get by far when you're starting, in my opinion, is the survey car. So it's a little hatchback, but it comes with its own um, matting and plopping, plopping, mats mapping and plotting software on the roof. So as you're driving along quite happily, it will sit there and fill your map in for you, which is incredibly handy. Ooh, auto shop. What I'm going to do is... Ooh, there we go. Plague Heart. In Nightmare Mode, you're not automatically given the um, locations of Plague Hearts. Might be some weapons in there. Let's avoid that... Uh Bloater. Alright, I might have. I know I've got uh, two cans of uh, fuel in the car, so that's good. Alright, have your plague samples. With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. I appreciate it. Take care. Seriously. 
Let's drop that off. Let's get ourselves back home. Drop off the goods. Hey, listen up. It's not gonna be easy, but we gotta clear out those play cards. Will do. Yeah, yeah, well, we're working on it. Actually, before we do that, ooh, we do actually have enough resources to pick up another. Now, do I want food or bullets? Ooh, tricky one. Let's go for food. I'm not going to have a sentry tower for a little while yet. And by that point, hopefully, we can have more um, ah, can't go off it. Is there a feral behind me? Oh no, he's given up. He's gone back to where the screamers are. So let's take this opportunity then. Let's break line of sight. Plain tartar marked. Right. And I'm confident that a little more work would make it even nicer. So we've got a moment. Ceremonial. M1A1 M1 A1 Thompson. More power, more fire rate, better durability. So you can have that. Because in a moment we're going to switch characters. The Danger Dog, which is an AK style suppressor on a Soviet submachine gun. And the OSS Silent Knight, again a 45 cal. That's only got six rounds in it though. I might be tempted actually. As nice as this gun is, let's empty the magazine. And she can have that. Oh, good. No, that all can be useful when we take our first play cart out. I was expecting food here, but uh, beggars cannot be choosers. Another waste of time. Where do I leave the car? Ah, there we are. Up that way. in better days but hey it's still got all its doors now nah, see if I can line this shot up nice that's probably a little bit more front bender than door so front fender rather than door but uh, still fun A 
to goodies. All right, drop all this stuff off. I'm home. Hope I didn't miss anything exciting. Right, let's switch to another character. Ooh, exclamation mark means that she wants to do something. Go on then. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know you're injured. Sorry. Hey, can we chat? Why, of course, friend who likes to make taxidermy cats. My own. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Now, I'm hoping that the danger dog uses 9mm and not 45 cal. Yes! Right, you're fully equipped. Yep. And anything you want to sell? Yes. That, and that, and that, and that. What are we short on? Ooh, meds. Definitely meds. Bullets ain't great either. Hopefully I'll have some. Nice. Right. Shall I replace her baseball bat with an axe? Go full Viking. Gonna feel. Oh, can get rid of this though. Let's take an extra can of fuel in just to be paranoid. Ah, would if I could. around here too long would not be smart. So note that that um, shed has got, uh, and the campsite is blacked out and f and deep red, a very dark interior. That implies that there's a play cup really close by. Right, catch your breath. There we go. Oh yes, let's go for single fire selector. Because while I have a fair bit of 9mm, it will disappear if I start doing firing it on full auto. Right, trade time. So, what have we got today? Yeah. Yeah. They're expensive, but not excessively so. Now that's heavy. Don't want a I shotgun. I think they'll give us better prices in the future. And Given his name is twenty gauge, or no, twelve gauge. Somebody's got to convince me that's a good plan. Hey, neighbor. So, what do we got today? I'm on board with that. 
So let's sell the soap, sell the backpack, sell that backpack, sell this very, very strange note. Lovely. Do I need a shotgun? I only have six shells in it. So I don't really craft pills. I've got a water maker. I already got a generator. That might be useful for keeping the vehicle running. Hmm. His name is 12 gauge. So let's get one of those for completely frivolous reasons. And let's get a toolkit. Keep the car running. To a certain extent, I think the cars are almost another character in this game. So, I think we're going to end it there. I'll get all this loot home. Probably give 12 gauge the, well, 12 gauge and the OSS pistol. And then we'll see you in the next episode. While we ponder about that uh, juggernaut just minding his own business over there. So you take care, see you soon, and goodbye.